morning fans, I uh, took a peek in this hive and discovered that it's pretty much full of honey. I need to get these two off and put an empty on, run in and extract them. Put it back, maybe at least one box where it has two empties. We're in a honey flow and it's going. They're probably, uh, maybe this hive could have swarmed already for all I know. I'm not too worried about that. I just want to get this honey because I've got orders piling up and people want honey. So, uh, how do you do it? Well, I use this thing. It's called a feeding board. It's just a piece of carpet, kind of. Set it out in the sun. I'm gonna get warm. And I use this stuff, it's called Honey Bandit. I buy it from uh, Man Lake, like the hat says. Uh, this stuff don't smell too bad. The other products like this smell pretty rotten, like puke. Uh, this one smells a little um, licorice, maybe. I don't know. It's not a really good, good smell. It's not bad where it'll make you puke. Uh, I probably should be explaining this as I go because this takes a while. You spray the thing, put it on, then wait maybe five minutes and then you can take the honey off. And it'll be pretty much bee free. I've already looked inside and it's full on, ready to go. Uh, I think this is June 22nd, I think. The second day of summer. Yesterday was the first day of summer. Uh, we haven't had much nice weather. It's been real gloomy. Today's the first beekeeping nice day I've had for quite some time. So everything's a surprise. There are no hive beetles. That's very good. I don't see any dead, or I mean deformed wings. I don't see shiny bees. They look like they're wet and black. It looks healthy. Of course, you probably would like to look at a frame of honey. Before I actually take it all off, that's fresh. That's white wax. Okay, go here to this. I kind of tend to overdo, but I put about let's count one, two. Probably more than what the directions say. <laughs> now I have a little handle on here where I can pump it like a bellows. I hear them in there buzzing. They don't like it and they move down away from it. A little pump every now and then maybe. You can use a bath towel to do this. You can use you can make your own little shims, which I have some, and use black felt. Paint it all brown and make it work. These are commercial. I bought this one. They're kind of expensive, but well made. I got it from Man Lake. You have to be patient with this part. It takes a few minutes for them all to leave. And they don't all leave, just most. What I'll do is, is I'll take this off, spray it some more, and then set it upside down by my back door. Carry the two honey boxes over by the back door, and then it, it'll push more bees up and out. And then, well, of course, I'll put that empty one on. Then I can go inside and extract honey. Uh, later today, I'll get to... Uh, the iris hive. This isn't the iris hive. We'll get to it though. It's going to be really nice. I just know it. This is 
been a pretty good year for honey making. And making these too. I've got plenty. for the smell, trying to describe it. It's not licorice, but it's just it's a strange smell. It isn't that bad. Honey banded is the one you get if you're using this method. There's another one that smells just like it. Let me look in my bucket and I'll tell you. Fisher's Be Quick is the same thing. It smells the same. And it's not bad. Everything wrong and still works. It says remove outer and inner covers. Well, yeah, I have that. Use minimal smoke. Well, I smoked it. Place fume board or breeze board on the tops. Super. I well, yeah, that I did that. But do not use a bee escape. Apparently I am using it right. I must have misread, misread something to this thing veil. Either way, those two are the same chemical, I think. They smell the same. It does take a couple minutes for the bees to come out. That's gonna happen. They'll come out. this up so I got all these off. Hopefully 
nice white wax from clover. Clover honey is coming in. Now this box, if it gets full, will be clover honey specifically. The rest that I just pulled is varietal, let's say. It's all different stuff with trees and flowers and whatever. I don't really play the game of trying to select and pick because it, it just happens. I have no control over what the bees go get. It's all out there and they pick what's best for them, not me. And that's just how it is. So my honey is what you would call varietal. And it, competes with award-winning honey nearby. I have customers that, that left Curtis Orchard to, to buy honey from me because of plastic bottles. I was used, I use glass and there are people that prefer glass and it's pretty much the same honey because we're so close. Curtis Orchard is only about three miles over there and they've won the world's best honey uh, contest two years in a row. Uh, that's pretty outstanding. So you would assume that my honey is good. I do. I think so. And of course, every beekeeper thinks theirs is the best. And it is because it's the best for them. Because it's in your own backyard. That's what you need for your health. Is the honey from your own backyard. People track me down for it. For a variety of reasons. Why? Because of what it is. It's honey from everything in your neighborhood. The, poll the pollen in there is a variety too, which would be pretty healthy. Uh, in the spring, early spring, people track me down looking for it to start taking it. They'll eat about a teaspoon a day and they claim it helps with their allergies. I believe it, it does. You can't really mark it and say it does but anecdotal evidence suggests that it does. Well, you got to see honey coming off the hive. Let's take a look over there. Still not done. Sorry, this thing's just taped on. Well, the honey's on the ground right there. Because of the camera, I can't really see, but uh, there are some bees on it still. I'll brush them off with a br brush and carry that in frame by frame to an other boxes that are empty. I can shake the bees off in front of the hive and they'll find their way in. Nobody gets hurt. Uh, if a bee gets in the house, we have a little tool to catch them, and then we can come and release them out the back door and they'll go fly in their hive. No harm, no. No damage, no bees get hurt. Of course, a couple do. They get smushed or something. But we're real careful. Okay, well, thanks a lot for watching. This is the Urban Beekeeper. God bless y'all.